everyone. Nice to have you join me again on my YouTube channel, Anthea Style. Today's video is going to be all about fluffing your Christmas tree and flocking your Christmas tree. Now, some of you are looking at this and you're saying, well, Anthea, your tree has no flocking on it. Watch and see what I do. But first, if it's your first time here, please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Anthea Style, by hitting the subscribe button below. And for those of you that have returned to watch this video, I'd like to say thank you so much. I appreciate you guys taking the time to continue watching with me. This tree has three sections and I'll give you a little secret. When I set this up, all of the lights were not working on this tree. So some of my prep work was I took it all apart put the sections together again to see if maybe it wasn't plugged in properly, but it was. If you have one bulb out on a section, that could be some of your problem. And I just simply was not gonna take the time to go and pull each bulb and see which one was working and which one wasn't on that section. So I did a little cheat. I went down to my basement into my Christmas supplies. There's a few of them and I got some Christmas light strands, plugged them in to make sure they worked, brought them upstairs, and I took the tree apart and relit the sections that weren't working and got it all connected. Now there is a, a switch on this tree that you can push with your foot that normally falls to the bottom here and it's normally under the tree skirt once my tree's all decorated. But Usually when we get our Christmas gifts in front of that, it's very challenging to bend down, to get into the corner here by the fireplace to get that switch. So what I did was, knowing that in our living room, our lights on our coffee tables are hooked up to our light switch in the dining room, I thought, hmm, let me run a cord from that push switch on this tree and connect it to the other lamp extension cord, which is connected to our light switch on the wall. So I'm able to come in now, just hit the light switch on the dining room wall and my tree lights up all at once. So no more crawling underneath the tree. But if you can't do something like that, the push switch does work. It's just that it's easier for me not to have to bend down and get under the tree to do that every time. Fluffing your Christmas tree is very important. It's not my favorite thing to do, if I'm being totally honest, but it's necessary. And some of you are saying, well, why is that? Well, for example, if you have your tree that's been stored in a box all winter long, and we'll take this small branch section here, and you set your tree up, and that's what you have, that does not look right at all. It's just a cluster of branches, and that's not natural looking like how you'd see a tree outside in the woods or the forest. So you're going to fluff by putting that in a V or a triangle and moving those branches left, right, top and bottom to fluff your tree. And I started on the bottom on this section and moved all the way up to the top and then I turned the tree, started at the bottom, went up to the top again. I just found that easier for me. So I went all the way around on each section, turned the tree, I stood back, looked to see what needed to be done and you will notice there are holes in this tree because no Christmas tree is perfect in the real world. And this tree isn't a full, full tree, but that's okay because those holes are going to be where I'm going to put the larger bulb ornaments. So just continue fluffing all the way along until your branches are all open and very natural looking. So some of you may have seen um, from different designs that are out this year, whether it's in a magazine or on YouTube, that flocking is still really big on Christmas trees. Like I mentioned before, this tree is not flocked, but this is a real simple way to add a bit of flocking to your tree without losing your complete green tree. So the branches that I flocked, these are from the dollar store. They were $1.50 each, so this is part of my Dollarama haul and you can insert these branches on a level here, like that. If your tree isn't sturdy enough to hold it, you can certainly take a clip or an ornament wire and wire around on the branch to secure them. And I would put them in on points like this, and I'll just show you the third one. Again, always doing things in threes, so you see the V like that, 
this is how I would go about laying those in. So this is just demonstrating to show you positioning of the flocking of those branches. Now I normally would have my ornaments on here first and then this would be my last that would go in possibly before my ribbon goes on the tree if I decide to do ribbon. So you see there where there are five on there now and you've got your V this way and you've got a V this way. I then would add another one right here. And then I would put one down here on that side, one on that side, but up here now, just to show you how we continue. See that line? I just kind of like things a little bit more symmetrical than kind of willy-nilly on a tree. I would go right up above that. And then I would put one in probably up here. And as you can see when I'm doing this, it's also extending the branches of my tree that if I wanted to hang an ornament on here, there's a spot for extra ornament hanging, which would give you a lot of dimension and depth and texture to your tree. So, easy way to flock your tree, doesn't cost a lot, and it adds another color to your Christmas tree.